Located in the gold mining town of Beaconsfield is a unique survivor from the state's industrial heritage. In the mid 2000s a group of enthusiasts visited a sawmill nearby and retrieved the remains of steam locomotive 685 which was built in 1900 by Kerr Stewart in the United Kingdom for use on John Wyatt's tramway. The tramway ran between Beaconsfield and Beauty Point with a short section running out to Bowen's jetty. The line was opened in January 1882 and it was operated until the 1920s when the system closed. The motive power for the tramway initially was in the form of horses, but eventually John Wyatt's company purchased four steam locomotives from the UK. The final engine was built as number 685, which had a boiler pressure of 160 pounds per square inch and two outside cylinders. These had a measurement of 8 inches by 14 inches. Wood was used to fire the locomotives, but in later years coal was imported from a mine in Newcastle. John Wyatt passed away in July 1904, and the following year his widow sold the business to the Tasmanian Gold Mining Company, who continued to operate the tramway until the 1920s when it closed down. After closure, Kerr Stewart No. 685 was purchased by a sawmill at Camden, located not far from Beaconsfield and it was moved to the site and it is believed that it was used to power the operation there for a number of years. The remains of 685 became the only remnants left of the locomotives that once operated on the system at Beaconsfield as the other three engines were sadly scrapped. Among the items which the team retrieved was one cylinder, the frame and the connecting rods which were still on one side of the engine and these components were trucked to a private site where restoration commenced. A Lancashire boiler was located and a smoke box, saddle, chimney and headlight were scratch built. The objective was to restore one side of the locomotive and it would then be placed on display at the Beaconsfield Mine and Heritage Centre. Number 685 is the only Kerr Stewart locomotive that is preserved in Tasmania and a visit to see it on display at the Heritage Centre at Beaconsfield is well worth it. Rail Media Productions would like to thank Julianne Richards and the staff at the Beaconsfield Mine and Heritage Centre for their help in the making of this video.